Hey, what's going on, guys? So it's Pro Gamer back with episode, episode, episode five. I hope that's right this time. Episode five of Let's Play Skyrim, uh, the Aragorn theme play. Let's play through. And uh, in the last episode, we we killed the dragon. Yay! Yay us! Uh, and we should have. All of his bone, yeah. So we killed the dragon in the last episode, and I think that was about it. No, he went and got his sword as well. Um, if you remember, we just come back into White Run, done it. We do a bit of crafting. You know, I, I think I done that in between the episodes, and uh, also in between the episodes. Oh, we we'll go take this back. Why I'm speaking uh, in between. This uh, the last episode in this episode. I have installed the mods, uh, or the first three that I'll be using. Uh, I'm like I'll be using pretty soon. That's why I installed them. Um, so we go check those out in a minute. Uh, but we'll first, you need to talk to Am, right? I have your sword. You found it. I've been looking for that blade for months. Well, you weren't looking very hard. Father had a favorite sword and shield technique. Let me teach it to you in honor of his memory. Fair enough, son. Fair enough. Right, then. right so I think the way the voice will be the next quest we uh, begin to undertake, but to the mods. Uh, the first is Seal Muriel's L-O-R-T, Lord of the Rings, weapons. Um, now, obviously it's made by him, I, I struggle to say his name, Isil Muriel um, on Nexus, but it is distributed by um, a guy named Tomato on Steam, if you, if you don't want the bother of going through uh, Nexus and all that business and uh, well here it is uh, it gives you an Enduro one handed two handed uh, Elven Longbow which is Legolas's but this is the reforged uh, Shards of Nassil basically uh, Elven Short Blade which is like his daggers Gal uh, Glamdrain, Glamdrain Ancient Glamdrain Polis which are uh, three different versions of uh, Gandalf's Blade the Mogo Blade, which is the one Frodo stabbed with in uh, on Weathertop. Uh, Nassau 1 and 2 handed uh, again. That is before it was broken. Sauron's Mace, which there is an enchanted version. Um, and I think that is it. Yeah, and you can ma actually make the Shards of Nassau, but you have to smelt it at a... should be able to see... Just smelt it. it. Should be in the mace. Oh, steel. Shards of Nassau, there we go. Oh, one handed and two handed. Uh, which is, they're both classes of dagger, apparently. Uh, which, this, that's a neat little mod. Um, so if you want, you just search uh, LOTR -L -L in the Nexus or Steam and they'll come up. Uh, also, the second one is Aragorn's Ranger Ammo. Now this is by a guy named Nose Goblin, um, who actually makes a lot of very good mods. Um, I use some of his on my other characters. Um, now he's a distributor on Nexus, but a guy called Matandi, I think that's how you pronounce it, M-A-T-T-A-N-D-I is uh, the one posting it on Steam, and uh, basically it is what it says. It allows you to craft Aragorn Sam, which I thought was a, a very, very cool mod, um, and it gives you the Ranger Hood as well. Uh, so, but you need Moonstone to do that, otherwise I would have already crafted it. And uh, the third and final one, which we will actually fast travel to, is my uh, player home, because I decided I didn't really want to use uh, Dragon uh, Dragon's Reach, uh, Breeze Home. So I went and uh, installed uh, Lakeview Cabin, a hunter's home by Valkyrie. He, he makes a lot of uh, tree mods and stuff on Steam, so if you want to go check him out as well. Um, 
So I haven't actually been there yet, but we're going to fast travel there now and uh, do a bit of exploring. Now the tea of this episode is just plain green tea with a touch of honey, and it's, uh, it's, it's not the tastiest thing in the world. It is slightly bland, but it is oh so, uh, yeah, oh so soothing. That sounds right. Oh so soothing on the throat. Because I woke up this morning and I did have a uh, slightly sore throat. I don't know why, but have to get on. Now I can't wait to see this play at home. It looks sweet. And it looks very low friendly as well, especially for that Aragorn themed character that we uh, that we're portraying. If this loading screen is ever gonna disappear. There we go. Steel arrows. You must have fallen over there. Pick those up. Cool little fishing rods with some knapsack. Arrow. Go near a cow. And some gold. Can't pick that up. Take that though. I'll leave all that in there. What are you doing in the water? I don't know. Derp. Um, some more food. We'll leave that there though for now. Um, ooh, another knapsack. Potato. Sorry, that's. <laughs> um, so, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty quiet out the front. Got a grindstone and the time rack. Um, quite a lot of food. Can we? Yes, yeah, a cooking pot. We can use a, um, a little sleeping roll, and then the cabin. I just want to check. Got a log cut about there, but nothing else around. Um, so we'll just head on in. And uh, pretty small, but uh, I, I think quite quite accurate to something um, Aragorn would have, to be honest. Uh, got a little flute, lute and flute, um, and Aragorn does sing and stuff. So, uh, weapon rack, another weapon rack, bust of grey fox. Um, He's not really someone who would, uh, so we'll get rid of that. I oh, will just chuck it somewhere. Another cooking pot. Empty chest, empty chest. Load of food. Ebony dagger. We'll leave that there. Why did I search that? Because uh, that's a bit OP for, for what we have. And I think the phone is ringing. But you probably will be able to do that, and good thing because I am not answering it. I know it's probably lazy, but there we go. Shouldn't have run while I was doing this. Um, up the ladder, if we can actually get there. Ooh, safe. Some gold. And. A sack with some apples in. That seems about it. And obviously a bed. So, pretty, pretty uh, lure friendly. And a good for our current character. So I'm quite happy with that mod. Um, to just quickly throw all the stuff that we don't want with us in the chest. Stone, stone. Why is that not favorited? Stone. And we will uh, we'll sort this out better. Uh, in the next episode. Sorry, I don't even know why I was concentrating then. Uh, we will sort it out better in between the, the, this episode and the next episode. Uh, so, ooh, wrong one. So uh, that's, that's why I was concentrating. So we're not just sat. 
okay, okay. We have to go look at that. So we're not just sat uh, looking at crap, basically. Um, no, no, I don't want to do that. Nope. There we go. Oh, we have to remember to use the torch as well. So, back to the game. Because that took us all of 10 minutes, wow. Um, but we are going to go uh, talk to the, the Greybeard, so we'll fast travel back to... We'll, we'll, we'll go back to the Pelagia farm, because it's, it's like right on the road outside White Run. And head, head out from there, I believe. Um, he looks total badass. I've I've yet to play no character, but that is on one of uh, my lists to do. Uh, dual wielding like axes or maces or something, uh, but that should be pretty pretty fun. Um, now actually, night yesterday, day before. Um, today is the Tuesday. Um, a bird. Which way do we need to be going? I bought um, San Grand Theft Auto San Andreas for the, for the PC. Um, I can't remember what the place is called. I believe it is. Yeah, it's Iverstead. So we need to be heading in this direction. But yeah, I did buy uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas for the for the PC, and uh, I'm having a blast on that. It's uh, really it's as fun as I remember it. It was, it was something like two forty nine in the in the Steam sale because everything's like seventy five percent off and stuff. So it's uh, thing things are pretty cheap at the at the moment. And, uh, yeah, you can pick up some good deals. But it is as as fun as I remember. I haven't, I haven't played that much. I think I played about two hours because I've been busy with uh, work and such things as life puts in your way. But yeah, so, so that's pretty fun. And uh, I, I did see earlier that um, Dan, Jordan and Jacob uploaded the first uh, first part of the f first part of the first episode. No, that doesn't make sense. But he has uploaded part one of uh, Natchen. I think that's the map they were playing. The first map anyway of the, the Black Ops Zombies. So Road to Black Ops 2 basically. And um might as well run round the homeborn. Put it away. Uh yeah, they have uploaded that did that. Um I was watching it though and I I couldn't gotta be honest, uh, I normally watch videos that the other boys post. Um I don't watch my own. That's weird. But um there was or well, I noticed some problems with like sound and stuff. Um, I don't know whether it's me. Um, and there was, I also found uh, this looks dodgy. Ooh. Oh yeah. I was gonna say he's wearing a white run. He's wearing a a right no a white. Uh, a storm cloak and like armor and then uh, imperial helmet and boots oh, there we go some people just never learn 12 what's the one we're using at the moment 11 so that that is better and um, so we'll favorite that there we go um, yeah, I. It might have just been me, but I thought there were some problems with like uh, sound and the, the picture was really shaky. It might have just been me. Uh, I don't know. But I will have to discuss that with the boys. Um, hopefully, we can sort it out. They might have to start again, but we will. We will get there in the end. 
Um, it, 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 sound, it seemed pretty, uh, pretty sound though, otherwise, though. Uh, no pun intended. Yeah, it seemed pretty. And we might as well uh, do a bit of hunting on these. So, it sounded pretty good though, from what I could make out. And I uh, can't, can't wait to uh, participate in some zombies myself. Headshot. Oh, that was right between the eyes as well. Nice. Now I can't remember in this way in Iverstead if there are many uh, like side or miscellaneous quests. There, there might be. I've got to be honest, I I cannot remember at all. Uh, in the last episode, I mentioned uh, I was gonna uh, make a like a, a bad elf, dark elf character. I've done all uh, the Brotherhood quests and stuff. Take a gander at this standing stone, and uh, that's that's going pretty good. I've, I think I'm like level 15, 16 already. I've been powering through that pretty. Pretty quickly. I'm gonna I'm gonna go up here, my Two handy just in case, because there is someone up here. Are they friendly? Friend or foe? Foe. What's new there, though? So hopefully I won't have to fight these. Oh yes, I will. No worries. Scans are pushovers. There we go, dead. 11, that's not as good as that one, so. Can I keep it? And what's the neck once I've got? Not a lot, but we can take that disenchant and uh, it's activate the ritual stone. Once a day, those under the sign of the ritual can reanimate nearby corpses to fight for them. No thanks. I will stick with my warrior stone, thank you. I, th I think that was the stone we picked, wasn't it, in the first or second episode? Not too sure. Back to the road. And yeah, I, ca I can't wait to uh, actually craft those items, they are going to look sweet. Uh, there, are f there are a few other mods that um, I will want to download, but I haven't had a chance to... Uh, Research them properly, see if they're going to cause any problems or anything with the, with the mods I run. Oh, the tender con. I swear you just heard something. It must just be me. Yeah, I want to look at um. Oh, I meant to install the fletching symbol arrow, arrow crafting symbol fletchings mod. Um, I, I, I think I already have it installed, like, I'm not sure. It might just be in my folder. Ah, come on! There we go. But I also wanted to look at um, auto unequipped arrows, because as you can see, when I equip my bow, they equip the arrows, but when I take it off, they stay there, which is pretty annoying for when you go into third person view. But other than that, it is not. It's not too many others. I don't th think or I can think of at the moment. I mean, there are plenty of cool mods, but none that will. Oh, and this is a baddie. Like I, I can tell. They will uh, will be lower friendly to the to the character we are playing, and he is dead. Balthine Tower discovered. Thank God it was abandoned. I would have felt so bad if it wasn't. Can't pick up the potions, but we can read books. But there's no point in reading that because it's shit. Really, apprentice, and I can't unlock it. Jeez. There we go. 
got to get uh, back into the swing of things, even after not playing for like a day. Things do start to get a, a tad, tad rusty. Oh shit, you see me. All the food, because uh, if you if you haven't seen it before, we are running things we can make only. So uh, rules out picking up potions. If you're wondering why I'm running past potions and stuff. Oh shit, chief's there as well. But he wasn't too bad, that's because he wasn't the chief. Oh shit. Okay. I really need to pay closer attention to my health. So we will quickly run back there and uh, kill everyone else. Well, we'll have to kill everyone again, but. Actually, you know what? It has been 20 minutes of the episode, so I'll, I'll just pause the recording very, very briefly. And uh, we will be back once it is. Uh, once I got back to where we were, basically. So we're back. And uh, yeah, so I just, I just got back to this point. It took me like 5 minutes. I think maybe a little bit more. Um, a, a couple of things are different since the like to the first time we done it. Obviously, um, one of them being that that guy's gone and they're all fighting something. I don't know what they're fighting, but yeah, do you know uh, the, when we was coming over here, just out of the white room, we fought the that uh, guy. Basically, it was different. It was a uh, vigilant Stendar getting killed by two scans, and we saved him. Um, so we haven't got some things, but we got others. If that makes sense, they should do. It's not. Uh, it's not all all that complicated. Um, I, I don't think we have the uh, the. Was it the MP robot? Yeah, I don't. Oh God. I don't think we we have the imperial boat, but um, no. But we have uh, some restoration robes and, and uh, some steel cut boots and things like that. Um, yeah, and at, at the start of the episode, um, I put I put uh, the one-handed sword I unfavored him, put it in the chest. And I really haven't got a clue why because I actually need it. Um, I can for the life of think why I put away. I, mean, I the only thing I can come up with is that I thought I was still playing my um, my dark elf character because I run around to uh, killing people with. Two, two, two daggers like dual wielding them so I don't know it was, it was just a dirt um, on my part so yeah but hopefully it won't be too long we, we will have uh, and you will uh, one handed and two handed and all, all, all that goodness so Uh, that was a pretty cool, just little thing there, uh, with the axe cutting the cheese, or bread, I should say, sorry. Not cheese, they're two completely different things. But yeah, things like that in the game, they, they just, I don't know, add, add the extra little, little bit, and make it, make it so, um, what's the word? 
immersive. That's that is that is the word I'm looking for. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. And he is an old shot. But um, we died second second time in a row. It's uh, not going well on that that front. Um, I was hoping not to die too many times and make myself look like a noob, um, even though I am an experienced player. But yeah, things things do tend to uh, go astray while while playing live. Um, ah, we still got. No, we haven't. Go favor that. Equip it. Yeah, even though I am a fairly experienced player, I think I got about 180 hours. Uh, just on PC alone, and I got qu quite a few on uh, on Xbox, and then a f f fairly few, uh, a fair amount of time on uh, other Bethesda games. They're, they're pretty much uh, exactly the same as this, uh, to be honest. But they they are all they are all also good, so no no complaints from me. And was it me or was someone snoring? Hmm. This yes, battery. Thank you very much. Take the gold. No potions. Remember, no potions. Take those. And actually, I don't think we are currently wearing. No, we're not currently wearing braces, so we might as well go and pop them on. Um, now, I'm thinking about putting the steel Nordic gauntlets on. Because they are quite similar, but we'll, we'll just stick with the, the braces of archery for now. Um, because they, they directly link into what, what, we, what we are running at the moment. So we'll take that, see what the enchantment is. 10 points of stamina damage. Oh, I suppose it's better than the one we're using now, so we will equip that. Favorite? No, not equipped it. Just favorite. Sorry, people. Sorry. And, uh. But with the die in the back and forth and everything is coming up on the, uh. the end of the episode. We've done a bit of bit of fighting, yeah, not loads, but and we're about half. No, I don't know. Probably get it in the next episode. Uh, we are going over to have to speak to the green birds, and that will be in the next episode because we are up to the thirty minute mark. Um, just like to give another shout out to uh, the the people who made my mods. Uh, well, not for me, but you know the people who make them. They, they had uh, they had nice, nice, nice touches to the game. So yeah, that, that's that's it for the episode number five. Oh shit! But that's it for episode number five. Um, I'll probably see you Monday now with Skyrim. Tomorrow with Diablo, hopefully. Um, and yeah, see you next.